Without any doubt, Michael Schumacher is the best F1 driver to ever play the game. The retired German driver is a seven-time world champion Formula One driver and tops the list of the most Grand Prix wins in the history of Formula One. Apart from being a legend on the racetrack, Michael Schumacher also made a lot of money during his racing career. As of 2022, Michael Schumacher's net worth is estimated at $600 million. The German Formula One legend is just a handful of athletes who earned more than a billion during their careers. Michael can be a crazy spender sometimes. Well, he has all the money in the world, so what does he spend his money on? Let's find out. But before we continue, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. At number 10, a Ferrari California valued at $202,723. This car revives the name used on the late 1950s Ferrari 250 GT California Spider and the 1960s 365 California. As one of the most skilled Formula One drivers in history, it's no wonder Ferrari enlisted one of its most valued members, Schumacher, to help put the final touches on the testing process of the brand new Ferrari California back in 2008. The Formula One legend contributed to optimizing the performance parameters of the Ferrari California. The price tag on this cool supercar starts at $202,723. At number 9, a Ferrari F99 valued at $310,543. Despite building a career by driving cars, Schumacher still owns multiple cars. One would think that the former racer would be tired of the wheels. Here is another cool horse in his garage. The Ferrari F99 was given to Michael Schumacher by Ferrari in 2006, shortly after its launch, to promote it. The Formula One legend took the 599 GTB HDTE to its very limits at the Fiorano track during one of the factory's Pilota Ferrari driving courses, organized exclusively for Ferrari owners. The 599 GTB was named the Car of the Year for 2006 by Evo Magazine and was also named the Supercar of the Year for 2006. At number 8, Jordan 191, 1.76 million. Here we have another car. He just doesn't get tired of cars. The Jordan 191 was the first car constructed by the Jordan team that later became famous after Michael Schumacher drove it on his debut in Formula One. The car famously launched the career of the seven-time world champion who drove this car at the Belgian GP in 1991, his first ever Grand Prix. The Formula One legend got behind the wheel of the Jordan because of a bizarre incident involving regular driver Bertrand Gachot. Bertrand Gachot would miss the Belgian Grand Prix because he served a two-month prison sentence in Britain for spraying tear gas at a taxi driver in London and was replaced by the then-unknown Michael Schumacher. This is the only Jordan supercar in Schumacher's garage. According to many, it is one of the most beautiful F1 cars ever made. The F1 car had once been voted one of the most attractive racing cars ever. In 2021, the car was up for sale for $1.76 million. At number 7, a Ferrari FXX, over $2.1 million. Coming in at number 7 with a price tag of over $2.1 million is yet another one of Michael Schumacher's cars, the Ferrari FXX. The Ferrari FXX is one of the most amazing vehicles in Michael's garage. Only 30 of the cars were built, and 29 out of them have been sold to pre-selected Ferrari customers. Michael Schumacher was given the 30th as a gift when he retired from Formula One at the end of 2006. Schumacher's Ferrari was specially customized. The car was black without a stripe and had red trimmed wheels, matte rather than chrome exhaust tips, and his personal logo stitched on the racing seats. The car has a top speed of a 391 kilometers per hour. At number 6, a Ferrari Enzo valued at $2.6 million. With a price tag of $2.6 million, number 6 is the most iconic and special supercar in Michael's car collection. The Ferrari Enzo is named after the founder of the company, Enzo Ferrari. The beautiful supercar, which only has 5,197 miles on the clock, comes with some unique features. Unique to Michael's car is electric windows and a Bose stereo. There are some other one-off touches like Rosso Scuderia brake calipers, titanium finished wheels, dedication plaques, and his logo embossed on the seats and the door sills. The underside of the hood has also been signed by the top Ferrari officials and Formula One rivals of the time. As expected, the exterior is finished in Rosso Scuderia, one of the more famous shades of Ferrari red, while the interior is trimmed with Cuyo leather. Michael originally had the car delivered to him by Garage Zenith in Geneva. 
The majority of the car's 5,000 plus miles are said to have been accumulated by Michael during his ownership of the car. At number five, Majorca plot of land worth $3 million. Michael Schumacher's love for speed and thrill doesn't stop at mean machines. Riding the finest horses on his ranch is not only his hobby, but also a source of inspiration. And not to forget, it's a good investment as well. The F1 Legends family reportedly bought a large plot of land in Majorca. Island newspaper Diario de Mallorca says they spent 2.4 million pounds on the 13-acre plot to build stables and raise and ride horses. Michael's daughter Gina Maria is an accomplished equestrian, and his wife Karina, a keen horsewoman herself, won the European Championship in Western-style horse riding in 2010. The land at the center of the six-figure purchase is said to be in Puerto Andrax, near the mansion that his devoted wife Karina is thought to have bought from Real Madrid president Florentino Perez in 2017. Karina and Michael also own their own horse ranches in Texas, in the U.S., and in Switzerland. The CS Ranch, located in Givens, is Switzerland's largest and most modern private reining facilities. It has 26 horse stalls and is also the venue for the international reining competitions. The arena has international standards and measures 95 meters in length and 40 meters in width, and the hall has a capacity of 1,400 spectators. The one located in Gordonville, Texas, deals in all the aspects of the reining industry, focusing mainly on training and showing. The ranch accepts a select number of outside horses into their training program. At number four, the world, $7 million. The islands, which was given to Schumacher by Dubai's Crown Prince Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum as a retirement present, is located on a huge constellation of artificial islands off the coast of Dubai known as the world. The world is a collection of largely private islands that look like a map of the world when viewed from above. Each island is named after a country, and Michael Schumacher's island, which is located in the Antarctica section of the world, came fully equipped with a glass mansion, a helipad, and a harbor capable of housing several 100-foot yachts. At number three, a Falcon 200 valued at $22 million. The nine-seater jet flew Michael Schumacher to and from the races. The jet, which can fly at 900 kilometers an hour, boasts a full galley facility and a separate washroom. However, Michael Schumacher's wife Karina decided to sell the private jet as she believed her husband would never enjoy them again. His wife's step to put the plane on the market came after Michael Schumacher was in a critical skiing accident in the French Alps, after which he was put into a medically induced coma. At number two, Lake Geneva Villa worth $35 million. Located on the banks of Lake Geneva, this mansion was reportedly cost $35 million to build and has over 40 rooms. Other features of this luxury pad include 2,200 square meters of living space, a parking garage for 29 cars, a helicopter landing area, and a football field. Michael Schumacher also ensured that he and his family do not have to go very far to recreation as the home boasts a cinema and a bowling alley. Another unique feature of this villa is the 70-meter long trophy room, which will obviously feature the countless awards and trophies that the F1 legend has won over the years. And at number one, a Majorca Villa valued at $50 million. This Majorca Villa comes in at number one, and it's situated in the exclusive area of Puerto de Andrax. The luxury villa, which lies in the gated Las Brisas estate, is part of a 15,000 square meter estate that boasts two swimming pools, a helipad, a gym, and a huge palm tree fringed garden. It's rumored that Michael Schumacher's wife Karina bought the $50 million mansion in 2017 from Real Madrid president Florentino Perez. According to the German newspaper Bild, Karina's goal is to spend her holidays with her children or friends. The Schumachers are known to have loved holidaying on the island before Michael Schumacher's devastating accident and had a pink villa in Camp Del Mar near the villa owned by German model Claudia Schiffer. The family used to fly in on their private jet to spend the summer on the island, putting a high value on their privacy and spending their days swimming, sailing, and sunbathing. The villa is about three kilometers from the beach and the Sierra de Tramantuna Mountains, a UNESCO heritage site, and Walker's Paradise, where Michael Schumacher's family will be able to go out and explore to clear their heads. As of 2020, Michael Schumacher was reportedly moved to the villa in Mallorca to continue his recovery. According to the Diario de Mallorca, the seven-time world champion was taken to their Spanish holiday home to recover from injuries sustained from a catastrophic skiing accident in 2013. The seven-time world champion Formula One driver is best remembered for winning five successive titles with Ferrari. Michael Schumacher's competitiveness occasionally led to unsporting behavior notably two title-deciding collisions. After retiring in 2006, Michael Schumacher made a comeback with Mercedes in 2010 before finally retiring in 2012. 
Be sure to share your thoughts with us in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the post notifications. You don't want to miss out on our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.